Hello, how's everybody doing? Uh, today, um, I'm talking you, to you from the home office, and uh, instead of being out in a cool area, you know, it's kind of hard to get out and about all the time and take you to different places with a different background, but what I wanted to do is, I've been thinking about this one article I wrote back in November of 2007, and um, it's getting buried in the archives, but it still is as as important as ever that this information stay current and out there in the front and um, per wellness and health uh, radio stations infomercials and things like that I noticed that there's a you know there's a lot of concern with um, unnatural chemicals or toxic chemicals in household products and the foods that we eat you know um, things that aren't good for us basically man-made chemicals and this article uh, which is also stored in in the mere athlete um, health blog um, is is cancer in your tub okay so I pretty much took the name of an article from a bro brochure that I received and I wrote some things around it but wanted to give credit to um, the publisher that basically listed this information the statistical information <clears throat> and you can go to www.netnews pbl.com if you you know don't want to take my word for it but take a look at the statistical and scientific information where I derived this information and gave that that site credit um, but let me go through some of the um, statistical facts regarding chemicals and in our household cleaning products you know our personal hygiene products uh, things of that sort, but just let me list through some of these really quick and you can go to this article in the health blog and you can take these bullet points out, these talking points that I'm now telling you. Um, okay, so in 1965 to 1982 over 4 million distinct chemical compounds were formulated. That's up to 1982, that's a, that's a lot of chemical um, that was developed and evolved and at least 250,000 new formulations are created annually since then. So you could probably do the math and figure out there's a lot more chemicals um, that comprise the products that we consume. Uh, <clears throat> approximately 3,000 chemicals are added to our foods, 700 have been found in our drinking water, and over 500 can be found under kitchen, kitchen sinks and laundry rooms in the American homes. Over 800 neurotoxin chemical compounds are used in cosmetic perfume industries. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. This is just, just overwhelming information with regard to what we're consuming. You know, and I, I wrote another article, Can You Prevent Cancer? And um, basically dealt with cell mutation and really killing ourselves from the inside out. Um, you know, we just don't know this information because the FDA sanctions everything that we buy in the market. Doesn't mean that it's good for us. But people like you and I, you know, how, how are we going to know that? The only way we're going to know this information is we have enough time to go out there and search for it, do a little bit of homework, not saying that everything that I can pull together is exact, but I do the best I can to bring you the bulk or the basis of the information. <clears throat> so, I just thought <clears throat> I would pick out three chemicals and see if, you know, they're the most commonly used chemicals in our consumable household products and I'll list what they are and then I'll tell you what I did so, and you can do the same thing you can audit your stuff in your household and you can check it out for yourself okay so question is so out of 600 toxic product ingredients I pick three found in our everyday household items and they're known as carcinogens cancer okay the involvement of cancer Okay, um, cancer incubation, you know, which manifests itself through time. And I, I find it interesting, and I don't have any statistics to back this up, that demographically in geographical areas that cancer rates are on the rise. You hear it every day. Or maybe our media form of the way we communicate and spread this information is just better. But in my opinion, I, I think cancer is on the rise. And it's not just any one specific cancer, it's all types of cancer. Okay, so number one, what's antifreeze doing in our shampoos, deodorants, cosmetics, lotions, toothpaste, and pet foods? 
Yes, the main ingredient is propylene glycol. Uh, that, that's what makes up antifreeze, okay? And the only thing I can come up with, and I, and I read a book by Kevin Trudeau, uh, Natural Cures. I, I highly recommend you get it. I, I'm not promoting for Kevin. I don't know him. I've never met him. I, I read the book, and I got some of my quotes from him, but I like to give credit to where credit's due, and I use this quite a bit. It's all about the money. And he's absolutely right, because you and I, we're, we're numbers. We're a numbers game. We're a dollar sign. You got the big old dollar sign. It's sad, but it's true, okay? And I'm sure you're aware of that. Nothing new, okay? Number two, what are concrete floor cleaner, engine degreasers, and car wash detergents doing in hundreds of our other personal home care and cleaning products, such as bath and body products, the main, main ingredient is SLS, sodium lauryl sulfate. That's number two, carcinogenic, chemical. Two out of 600 in your household products that you're using every day. Number three, <laughs> I don't have the time to go over all 600 of them, but it's, it's just overwhelming. What is, what is a known cause or contributor, contributor to cancer? Okay. or of being potentially dangerous or hazardous to our health doing in, in the shampoos. And I, I already mentioned that from the sodium lauryl sulfate, bubble baths, lotions, cosmetics, soaps, laundry, and dishwashing detergents. Now, I want to say something about this. The acronym for this chemical is DEA. And I will pronounce this word, but I won't pronounce it right. And I wanted to make a point about this is, as Kevin Trudeau also mentioned, is if you can't pronounce an ingredient or understand what it is, you probably shouldn't buy it, okay? Because it's not natural. It's not, it's not of God's earth, okay? It was made by man. Anything made by man is usually distorted. There's no perfection when something's made by man. But we're very good at imitating, like imitation crab meat. But it still doesn't taste like real crab to me. Okay, so I'm going to say the word DEA is diphenylalanine. Okay, probably didn't hit it right. That's okay. The point is, I can't even pronounce the dang things. Let alone know the chemical composition. I'm not a chemical engineer, nor are you. <laughs> so, but what I want you to do is, so what I did was in the article I had asked, um, I had asked those of you out there to go ahead, go under your kitchen sinks, pull out a couple products, you know, dishwashing detergent, laundry detergent, toothpaste, um, cosmetics, shampoo, and I want you to look and see if you can find one of those three items. I bet you do, okay? I bet you find them on all, all your items, almost all, okay? Not to mention, you know, 597 of the other chemicals I didn't mention. Let's check us out on time here. Oh. I think we're doing okay. So um, I'm going to have to cut it to the short. So you could go back into the health repository at mirrorathlete.com. That's M-I-R-R-O-R-A-T-H-L-E-T-E. And go to the wellness company, okay? Because the biggest reason to get into the wellness company was that there was actually about 400 products an American-made company uh, manufactured in, in, in good old Idaho spud country where you can shop at a different store and get non-toxic, good quality products, and you're supporting the American worker. So, if you don't, if you want to get rid of all those chemical toxins in your house, if you want to improve your health, maybe before you go through some dramatic surgery or, or take pharmaceuticals and whatnot, uh, you would prefer to make a, a different choice in terms of getting your body healthy. Your body's been absorbing all this garbage for a long time. Um, you need something to heal it, make it better, and get on the right track. So just go to our wellness company, take a look there. It's a wholesale program. You can save 30 to 50% off. If you're interested, just sign for the online presentation, and uh, I will get in contact with you personally. Well, I want you to have a good day. I, I hope that this was helpful to you, and we'll bring you something back on cancer. Is cancer preventable? If you're interested in subscribing to the YouTube videos, um, just look for a video on the site that I produced, and you can go ahead and subscribe, and you'll stay up to date with everything I put out. Have a great day. Bye.